Hey everyone, this is a guitar tutorial for What He's Done by Passion. Before we begin, please consider subscribing to my channel or give this video a like and comment below on what else you'd like to see in the future. Additionally, if you're interested in any of the gear that you see today, there are links in the description below. Alright, grab your acoustic guitar and a capo and let's get started. All right, so since the original key of the song is C sharp, we're going to put our capo on the first fret, and we're still going to be playing in the key of C, though, to match. So our key of C will match the original key, C sharp. All right, here are the chords you're going to need to know. C, F, G, A minor, C over E, C over G, C suspended, and G suspended. Now normally we would only have four or five chords for a lot of these tutorials, but thankfully there's a lot of variation with this and there's a lot of suspended chords. So we're going to start with the basics. The C chord that I'm going to use is just a traditional C chord shape, I'm putting my index finger on the B string, first fret, middle finger, D string, second fret, and ring finger, A string, third fret. Now to play a C over E, you're going to just strum all the strings. Normally I would strum the A string on down for that, but now C over E would include everything. C over G, I'm just going to bump up my ring finger to the E string, third fret, and then put my pinky where it was on the A string, third fret, and now I have myself a C over G. Next up, we have A minor. Now you can get away with an A minor 7 here if you want to play an easier version of it, or you could play what I would do, just a traditional A minor. So placing my middle finger on the D string, 2nd fret, ring finger, G string, 2nd fret, right underneath the middle finger, and my index finger is going to go on the B string, 1st fret. This is a traditional A minor. Everything except the low E. Next up, G. Normally I play G this way, middle finger, low E string, 3rd fret, index finger, A string, 2nd fret, ring finger, B string, 3rd fret, and pinky, also 3rd fret, but the high E string. This time I get to strum everything. How to play a G suspended, I'm just going to put my ring finger on the low E, 3rd fret, middle finger, A string, 2nd fret, my index finger goes on the B string, 1st fret. Avoid strumming the high E though. For F, you could do the bar chord version of F, or the traditional F, but I'm actually going to play like an F2, which is very, very similar to a C suspended, if not basically identical. Put my ring finger on the A string, 3rd fret, pinky, D string, 3rd fret also, and my index finger goes on the B string, 1st fret. Sometimes I leave my middle finger up like this and keep the G string open, and sometimes you'll notice I'll put it down on the 2nd fret. That has more of a fuller F sound. If I have the open, now it's an F2. So there's an F2. That's more of an F. Now that pretty much sums up all the chords we need to know. Let's go over strumming patterns. Keep in mind the acoustic guitar doesn't come in until the second half of the song because the piano really carries it, at least for the first half. But here's what I would do for the main chorus. C. A minor. G. over E, F, G suspended, G, C suspended, and C. Now we'll go over that strumming pattern after we play through the song, but don't worry, I'm going to say the chords as we go along and I'll put them on screen for you. So here we go. C, C suspended, C. G, A minor, F, C, C suspended, C, C suspended, C, G, A minor, F, C, C, A minor, G, pull the G, C. C over E. 
F. G suspended. G. C suspended. C. C suspended. C. C suspended. C. G. A minor. F. C. C suspended. C. C suspended. C. G. A minor. F. C. C. A minor. G. Hold the G. C. C over E. I hope that I was able to help you out with that tutorial. Just watch out for verse 3. Don't mess up like I did. So one of those chords is held out a little longer. That C over G is held out just a little longer before you play G and then bounce to A minor. Now to play that strumming pattern in the chorus, I'm going to play the strumming without playing chords. Here's the last full chorus the band plays near the end of the song without chords. C. A minor. G. and C. Now, obviously I didn't play the whole way through, of course, because you don't want to hear me strumming all the time, but the idea is you don't have to strum eighth notes. You could, you could just do a straight eighth note pattern. But I like to break it up the way I did. So to play that a little slower, even slower and again if you don't want to do it that way like a syncopated strumming pattern you can do a straight eighth note strumming pattern there's nothing wrong with that just make sure that you don't overplay and let the keyboard carry the song all right everyone thanks so much for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel hit that like button and comment below on what else you'd like to see in the future thanks so much for watching and have a great week god bless